My Hero Academia. We finally had it happen. The Todoroki Family Rumble. Let's talk about it. <laughs> guys, Brown here back from Geek Fairings. We cover all things Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, anime, gaming, Star Wars, and more. This time, two flash fires, episode eight of season seven of My Hero Academia. And I gotta say, you guys, the animation studio cooked. They did a fantastic job in this episode. The animation was crisp, it was clear, it was precise. There was so much beauty in it. There was so much depth in it. It's hard to make that manga really pop as well as they did in this anime. They did a fantastic job with it. But look, the real important thing you guys want to talk about, it was Shoto's coming out party. And for all things considered, Dobby is absolutely no slouch. Sure, he got basically two punched and that was a day. But here's what we need to truly consider with what's going on here. Dobby was absolutely cooking Shoto for a good long while there. Dobby's flames were so hot, they were cooking and melting concrete. Cooking temperature for concrete is 1,300 degrees to 1,500 degrees Celsius. So just letting everyone know, that's hotter than a mug right there. It is cooking. So for Shoto to be able to endure these flames, we saw the other three heroes that stepped in. They were literally done within maybe half a second. Anybody else versus Dobby would have been an absolute wipe battle. Endeavor may have been the only other person on this earth that could have absolutely tried to take him out. But we also learned more backstory about Dobby. Dobby, or Toya, when he was a kid, was someone that was on all four ones bucket list. He was on his little collect them all list to try and see who I can make into my new evil psychological puppet to do all of my bidding. But he forgot one teensy piece of information that is so pivotal. You can't corrupt something that is already entirely broken. Let me explain just a little bit. Toya wanted to be approved by his father. As all kids want, they want some level of approval from their parents. It's just a subconscious thing we all deal with. Toya wanted to do that so badly he was willing to basically sacrifice his brother at the time, Shoto, in order to make that happen. And then he decided, oh, crap, I, I'm almost off one of my family members. I need to like prove to my dad that I'm not... I'm like all here, I'm all sane, I can do this, and that my flames can get hot enough to make this thing happen. So he decides to go off in the mountain, does his little bit of training, things go horribly awry, and then we see him falling into the water, and next thing you know, it's three years later, and All for One has picked him up and is trying to fix him on up. His family did go out looking for him, just so everyone's clear, but at the same time, they weren't necessarily the first ones to make it there. And with everything going on with All for One, he thought, hey, I'm going to turn this kid into my project. But Endeavor's hands were too far into this project. Endeavor, in my mind, is still the true villain of everything that's happened here in my Hero Academia universe. Shoto and his family can further attest to everything that's happened. Endeavor not only abused his wife, he left his wife, he took advantage of his wife, he used her as a breeding puppet, then he beat up his kids, which were several and many and numerous and then on top of that he brainwashed toya made him an absolute menace to society and then he literally broke shoto to the point that if deku didn't show up imagine him and all the powers that shoto has being used now for endeavors in dubious ends like what what do you have to do with that yeah just so we're clear Endeavor, not forgiven on my page. Some people totally do. We had a good long chat about that in the live stream. Thanks for those who came on for it. But now we learn that Toya wasn't even able to be corrupted, and he truly does not care at all about the villain society. The only thing that he is using them for is just for their position so that he's able to use what strength they have to ensure that his mission gets taken care of, as his mission is to wipe out his family and anybody and anything who stands in his path because, well, revenge is a bit... A dish best served hot. Very, very hot. And as he was intending on doing so, unfortunately, well, Shoto has Phosphor, which is a perfect blending of his ice and his fire, and was able to ultimately cool down, you know, Dobby just enough to make things a absolute change for him, and then sneak up and hit him with the coldest punch in the solar plexus possible, knocking him clean out cold with a good old one 
Punch Man. Shout out to that other anime. Can't wait for that to be coming back by Mappa at some point. But, you know, Shoto, great coming out party for him. He did a fantastic job. Just so everyone's clear, this is not the end for Dobby. There's so much more in store for him. and There's so much more growth and darkness to delve into. I can't wait till we get into that. If you want to get into more things geek, be sure to hit the lovely red subscribe button. we got a thousand subscriber giveaway slowly coming up with you, the viewer, and so much other great stuff coming up on Twitch. Next time we'll be seeing you, Will will be here for Kaiju number eight. And the next time you'll see me live stream for Demon Slayer, which will be a 45 minute episode this Sunday. And we also have House of the Dragons. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We've got a lot of great content coming for you. Thank you so much for making this a great place to be a geek. See you next time.